We are here. This is today. It's happening. I know. All the planning, all of the work that we've been doing, and it finally is coming to life. The culmination of like having the shoot, and finally it's here, and finally it's happening. It, it really is a dream come true. amazing people coming together. They're just moving culture in such an important way. Just as the women who they're gonna capture today moved culture, these women are moving culture in such a different way. It's really inspired by trying to take these iconic characters and make them modern and not get too costumey, but still keep a fashion element to it and make sure that we're still getting the character. So especially for something like Wonder Woman that is so iconic and has so many different interpretations. Carmen taking on this character, I thought that we really wanted to just make sure we get the Wonder Woman element, keep the same color palette, but really just make it powerful and accentuate her amazing legs and her body, but still make sure that as soon as you see the photo, you know it's Wonder Woman. Wow. It just will make it look perfect, but do that exact pose that you did is so good. Then we have Rosie the Riveter, which looks very plain here, but actually is quite dynamic because it's all about the body. So it's gonna be all about that movement. So then we have Maya playing Lil' Kim. So we took the iconic purple jumpsuit. From the MTV Video Music Awards. Yes, yes, yes. Andrew <laughs> was on the subway during Gay Pride and saw a drag queen in an amazing look and was like, who made your look? And then found the same designer. And on then, Instagram. On Instagram and overnight, this look has been created yes. specifically for this shoot. So then this one was really fun, recreating Beyonce's now iconic formation video. We were toying around with the idea of doing either like the black dress. Sorry, I'm getting information. <laughs> And then obviously we have the iconic breakfast at Tiffany's, Audrey Hepburn. So just using this simple black dress and incorporating the black gloves and of course the elegant cigarettes. We hate smoking, we're against smoking. Smoking is not modern, but it's classically Audrey Hepburn. <laughs> so then we have Katniss Everdeen. And so for this, we're gonna put terrain in some latex moments. We thought the red was really exciting from when Jennifer Lawrence is sitting on the throne in the movie. So we thought this could be a really fun interpretation of it. So then we have Cleopatra. And so for this, we really think it's all about the accessories and the jewels, and of course the headpiece of this jewel model. I was just talking about all the clothes and it's like, it's like, what do all these women have in common? And it's like, they were disruptors. So it's like, you know, even though it's like Marilyn Monroe in a gown, it's like she disrupted everything because she completely brought this glamour and this kind of bad girl, but good girl and all of that type of thing, all the way to Frida Kahlo. And Gina is playing the iconic Frida Kahlo. So we really wanted to have fun with the color and the prints and really bring out all of the eccentricity that Frida really exuded. We're doing it. We're taking inspiration from her. Your flower, your crown. <laughs> okay, here we go. 